Regan, Mrs. Regan, members of the uh, cabinet, distinguished guests, my friends. On behalf of the 50 million people of the Philippines, Mrs. Marcos and I express our gratitude for your warm welcome to Washington and to the United States of America. This great and beautiful city that is one of the few cities that was built as a capital for a great nation is indeed, as has been written, the key to knowing the secret of America. And these hearts of the American people, an American frontier that never vanishes. Your beautiful city of its, with its grand memorials, its monuments, its walks, is indeed a city that memorializes the great achievements of your people for the past two centuries. But more than that, it keeps offering to the enterprising and the talented, the courageous and the strong, the rewards of effort and of initiative. At the same time, as I stand here on American soil, I realize that I stand on what may be the center of the government the United States of America, here where, as I have often stated, the future is being born. The future is being born depending upon the man who is in the White House. And the man certainly is creating a new future for us. For Mr. President, I come from that part of the world, wherein the poorest of the world's population live. I come from that part of the world cherishes an image of America with its ideals, its dreams, its illusions. I from the principles of American democracy. We learn to love these ideals and principles. And we lost a million of our people fighting for them in the last war. We have always stood by these ideas. It is the cost at the risk of our fortunes, our lives, but more important to all, our honor. We stand for the ideals of democracy that is our legacy from the United States of America. I did not come to burden you further with additional problems, Mr. President. For I know that as I have said in many a speech before my own people and before the world, fate and destiny has decreed that the United States of America be the trustee of modern civilization against the threat of a possible second dark ages. And America cannot fail. And therefore, we, the Filipino people, come and bring to you a prayer that God and his divine providence may grant you guidance, strengthen both your heart and hand so that that hand may be strong on the lever of power and save 
our humanity. If America fails, then the world is lost. And thus, Mr. President, I can assure you that throughout all of Asia, there is nothing but a reservoir of goodwill for you, the American people, and the United States of America. Once again, may I say thank you for your warm welcome and your hospitality, which I know we will never be able to reciprocate. Thank you.